Hello, hello. So I'm going to do a past, present, future spread. While I was um, shuffling in on the energies, the dream decoder called to me and what popped out was food or drink. So I want to read it because I feel like it may be relevant here. And I'm also seeing being at work. Oh, and we have the children card. All right. Some of you could be at work watching this right now. Um, I don't know. This could be relevant. Food or drink, being at work, and children. Okay, but let's read this food or drink. Food or drink refers to an emotional, spiritual, or intellectual nourishment. It represents the qualities you're seeking or need to seek for personal development. Hunger or thirst suggests that you're striving towards wholeness or contentment or possibly neglecting basic needs. More particularly, hunger may indicate you're in need of a greater material security or emotional or sexual fulfillment. Thirst can suggest a longing for a deeper meaning. Occasionally, when you're consuming, what you're consuming will be significant. Eggs might suggest a new start. Milk, a return to childlike dependency. Eating alone could suggest independence or loneliness. Depending on your circumstances, overeating suggests self-indulgence. Drinking alcohol may indicate you're trying to suppress difficult feelings, but it can also mean a desire for more stimulation. If you dream of eating glass or something dangerous, you or someone in your life could be struggling to deal with Swallowing a painful situation. Deal with a painful situation. Okay. Children card symbolizing joy, warmth, spontaneity. I was getting this energy of somebody needing to go to a park or maybe just taking a break, going out for lunch. Possibly with your children. I'm also seeing the shopping card. Maybe going shopping with them. Even if it's just shopping for food or drinks. Taking some sort of break. Getting out. I don't know what that's about. But I had to mention it. I was also picking up on the energies of... I feel like some of you may be getting a new car. I was seeing... Um, I seen a lot of brand new license plate today. And it was saying... Um, it was showing September 2022. And I instantly thought, somebody's getting a new car. And then I heard the park. <clears throat> Somebody needs to go to the park. Whether if it's with your children or just for yourself, your inner child, right? Taking, maybe you have a pet, taking your pet for a walk and scene. Some, some of you could be getting out, going to the dog park, right? Children could be pets. <clears throat> so let's see. Past, present, future spirit. Wow. I love it. Wow, we have three major arcanas. Wow, and at the bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. So there's that three energy as well. There's the empress, three. Lovers, six. Temperance, 14. So... In the past... Some of you could just be, I just heard home bodies in the house a lot, taking care of the children, taking care of your pets, your plants, um, making peace with things. I feel like you're making peace with the past. I also feel like some of you in the past was getting more into spirituality, manifestations, prayer. Taking care of the home. There's something about making your home your sanctuary. And now in your present moment, we have the lovers. Some of you could be dating Getting to know someone. I could be reading for couples here. Mother, family. I 
I am going to touch more into these cards. Um, And then for your future energy, temperance, a lot of harmony within self, within your surroundings, within your businesses as well. I'm seeing somebody run multiple businesses. I'm seeing singing bowls, sound bowls, yoga, meditation, massage, prayer. Some of you could be opening up some sort of sanctuary. <clears throat> it's like some of you could have found that you're able to create your own sanctuary at home. And it's like you want to invite people in to have that same feeling. Like if I could feel at peace, what if I could share this feeling with others? Sanctuary. You feel like home to people. You're bringing back people home to themselves as well. Yeah, and with this Three of Cups, I am seeing a lot of gatherings, a lot of celebrations. Heavy lotus energy here. I feel like you're going to be gathering with a lot of people that went through similar things that you've been through. I'm getting like lotus vibes, growing out from the mud, growing out of darkness. And it's like you created a way out. You created your own lighthouse. You became the lighthouse, but you also created your own. Yeah, you're someone that's very creative. It's like you got creative. I'm seeing painting as well. Some of you could be opening some sort of center that includes painting, drawing. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing a place where like you're opening up a place and, or maybe you're, I don't know, I'm seeing something like, there's a bunch of different things going on there. I'm seeing painting, I'm seeing yoga, I'm seeing breath work, I'm seeing Reiki, I'm seeing henna. Some of you could be into henna as well, jewelry making. You're doing something huge. And it's like, it's because you found that it brought you peace and you want to share this with people. Yeah, it's like people were curious. People could have been asking you questions. People could be asking you questions right now, like. I heard about you. I just heard that. I heard about you. I heard about you from so-and-so. I have a proposal. Let's make let's let's get together. I feel like this is the person that's going to be opening up their business space, welcoming you in. Wow, four of wands, community. This is beautiful energy. I'm seeing marriage as well. Yeah, I'm seeing like a couples gathering, couples retreat happening. It's like you not only help people find themselves, you also help people find love. All right, I love you all.